I eat that for the bad man. I eat that a whole layer of league and things for bury them. I don't tell her. Two of them I don't eat, you know. Curly, curly soldier, curly and done, man. You see, piece of chip block of work, you know. Khaki color hungry, one really. Khaki color hungry work, you know. Yes, man. That's a 50, man. You see. Chop them chop on me for my dog and go around my dog, you see. So, look how I dust up here, go up there in the yard, because we don't get inky and done with them live, you see me. Because food here in the yard. And they don't tell me the information every fucking thing already. Everything there in the yard. So, we bury them and then after I dust up here, we get the money up in the yard. And then after now, we have nine nights, I'm going to fix this, get this out, you see me. Mm-hmm. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Wagwan, my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in all right. Give thanks to life for the gathering. I'm telling you, I say, holy pop paper still dead, and you go here. All's away, I go on, but I go on. We can start the news right as a first. Them say trouble not set like rain. But I can tell the boy, them this one not breathe nothing. And no, no problem. You understand? We don't have to the girl in chuck a little bit longer. Because... Oh, no, 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 more about roast to drink, which I bring nothing. We don't know. Oh, no, go drink now. Watch your grandpa, go on, go on, paper. The man, them kill Baba, right in a West Milan. Him name, William Webb. Hey, 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 Baba Roads. Yes, people. Right in a dolly standing up. And about 3 45 a.m. this morning. Yeah, man. The man, them going to the house. And for those who are asked, no, and I keep them kick off the door, because a few inches them, they turn the correct way. A four man go through the window, people. Have a conversation with him. And then they shot him, kill him, and then dig up a place. I don't know where they look for. And I don't know if they find it. But nobody worrying yourself. May I give you some more pan this one because Cause Baba that's supposed to open one little little can of worm. Then people, remember the brother up on the screen? Then I need him a baba accountant. Well and they don't know the story. Alright, guess what I'm going for a one. But now I'll give you that story then now. Because I have some other little thing for talk about. I could deal with that and then we'll come back to that story. Is that okay? Yeah, man, I know say I'm going to say, okay, so that's okay. But what you going for? What going now? My mom tells me, look at you there this morning. Where they play football and go to the bar. I don't know what I'm there. See me up on the screen right now. Kill him because they can't catch him family. But people don't bother worrying themselves. More people are going to dead back. I'm going to give you the ball to ball commentary. So don't worry, okay? More news. A St. Benjamin was searched by the police and reported the phone in possession of firearm and ammunition at a wake in Top Hill Port and Tony in Portland has been arrested and charged. Charged with possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition is 47 year old Julian Williams of Burnside Valley in St. Andrew. I can tell you something, he's a walk, he's just sending up back in. This a boy, a known, 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 known gunman. Yes, may I tell you the truth. Report reached a news team at about 3 a.m. on Saturday, lawmen were in operation in the era when they saw Williams at a wake. And for you look, Panny Mekia, she said, I got man, I also have punished last lap him. The police said Williams' action arose their suspicion, so he was accosted and searched. And during the search, one Browning 9 meter pistol with a magazine containing one round of ammo was reported found in possession. He was subsequently taken to custody and was charged with the offense after he underwent a question and answer session in the presence of his attorney. Hold on, I will say, yes, I'm getting attorney, you know, boy. And all you know, have no sense. And he left all the way from St. Angela, Portland, with one bullet in a gun. You see, police them should have slapped you away. Anyway, no people. Police and people stupidness walk hand in hand. Can watch our one power go on now. Stupid action by resident of Mind District in St. Anne result in recovery of 1.4 million worth of flow cable wires and the arrest of three people. Arrest and charge are 27 year old construction worker Brian Sinclair of Chester District. Orion Walk, also known as Melvin, in a 28 year old from Mind District and 28 year old. Sidine Richards, aka Sid, a tour guide from Civil Heights, all in St. Anne. This is a boy, a known thief. A regular and robbed the guests, them. I tell me, I tell you, no. They have been charged with simple larceny, receiving stolen property, and malicious destruction of property. Sinclair, who was reported a driving of Voxy, has been slapped with additional charge of breaching the condition of his bail and driving away a motor vehicle without the owner's consent. Police said Sinclair, who is on bail, was held during curfew hours. 
The owner of the Voxy he was driving indicated that he drove away the vehicle without his consent. But we land in America something. When I see say, the bus is gone. Why never call the police station? You are a liar too. Me, I tell you this. You, who own the Voxy, is a liar. Mr. Paper, the three thief in boy, them go up in the paper, them district. And thief a flow key boy, them, and damage a bag of thing. And the big idiot people, them. Instead of them mount some roadblock and slap a boy, guess what they do? Mount roadblock and go lamp on the boy them. If the police then come for them. That no make no sense. It no make no sense to me. You understand? Police are the tupidness. People are the tupidness. Tupidness and tupidness non-stop. And speaking of tupidness. We tell the police them, you know. For them, way of doing things makes no sense. This a boy a tree punch in a get taken. You understand? A tree him and him friend them take out one time. And I tell me say, who left this a boy alive? How oh, this makes sense? How oh, it makes sense? Mister people, sat them and then find them a client and a hide. Remember you know? If him the innocent. Him and I just steal on a chisholm, don't it? Run a chisholm in a steal. But no, no, no. He no innocent. Now him and him friend them kill Rasta and two cause of them. People, remember, remember, go to me, they come and me tell them everything I show the video and I bag of something. Anyway, what you have one what I want now? Charles Watford, who was wanted for the ship emergency in Andrew South Division, was held by the Maypen police during a raid on Juna Crescent in Maypen. Report reaching on news team that a joint police military team conducted a targeted raid at Juna Crescent in search of an illegal firearm, which was evident in a murder which occurred in the area on Thursday. The police said they were also searching for persons of interest during the operation. During the raid, the police said, Watford was seen and taken into custody and placed in the Maypen police lockup. In that police time, I tell you about the operation was incident free. That is where we now want to hear. We never want to hear that. We want to hear some boy brain get pushed back. That is where we want to hear. Next time, that is where we need for do. Okay? Hold on, then our paper, remember that piece of video here? I'm not going to hear yesterday. <laughs> Remember me tell you, once the birth cert and them look at things they reach in me, I go come back and go into the update. Well, Right now, the big dirty get out of me, yeah, man. I look up a place called Waterford to be exact. The man from the ground, 60 year old, Paul Morrison. And guess what, one power go on. Right over Pine Till, he come from, you know. He left over Pine Till, gone over the ghetto, right over there, the desert, and the man entered him up, kill him. Poor Paul. Dead just like that. Well, and then our people. I like a show thought they go and I put one a couple of people are telling the well, say, yo, five people dead, six people dead, four people dead, ten people dead. Nothing done, go so that's me I listen to me in the Russian news. I take my time, get the details, and come back, come, come tell you now. So, look who shoot today, they go and right over, right and right over, there, 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 so, I can't tell you now who dead now. 43 year old, Dwayne Newland. Yeah, man. After the dust settle, I him the police, them find dead. Everybody else run girl with him. Yes, everybody else run girl with him, who did that. I don't know how the police, them, so big and full, full, you know. Make so much man get the police. You need to do better. You need to do better. You can't go so boom and roll up and ends. A man shoot off and only one dead. How oh, that makes sense? That no makes sense. None that people may tell you the truth. That no makes sense. None at all. Anyway, let's go and power. Go and police slap somebody else to, you know, right in a Westmoreland this time. One little place called Red Road. You know Red Road? You know Red Road? No, I'm not in the road, Red Road. But us Red Road then call it. 36 year old. Peter Tomblins. Yeah, man. The police, them see him. And the road walk up and down. And think say, man. And I try to stop him. And Peter just pull a little gun off of them. And beat some shot at the police. Then beat back some shot off of him. And guess what, people? Peter end up dead, dead, dead. Hold on now. Police and Peter shoot out. Right in a Westmoreland. Right down there, 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 there. So, so guess you go on my walk. Go on up a green pan. Gunman and gunman are shoot out. And you see when the dust settle, I saw a whole heap of shot in a beat, you know. I know some of them must connect. But you see when the dust settle, and we go to the door and go look, guess what, go on, pa, what, go on. 22 year old. Optan brace it, I'm dead. People, I'm dead, dead, dead. I don't tell you a lie. I'm the dead out there, man. 
right as she ran me at talk to be exact. Hold on, then I'm going to pay watch a guan pa wa guan. I don't know Gary. No, I'm not attack Bridge Bridge in Gary, but Gary the police. Assistant Commissioner of Police, Gary McKenzie. Him say, yo, 11 people arrested on suspicion of extorting operators of public passenger vehicle in section of the corporate area. I slap. Let me even start slap for some of them, you know. We are telling them the truth. Gary, come tell the people them wa guan pa wa guan. The police carried out operations targeting extortionists of public passenger vehicle operators within the corporate era. At the end of the operation, some 11 persons were arrested for extorting PPV operators, breaching the main road and road traffic act in some instances. This operation is a continuation of Operation Transportation Streamline that was launched in early September. The police, the ITA, Transport Authority, and the Municipal Police, we have coordinated to ensure that various areas that include transportation hubs and other public spaces that those areas are operated in a manner that conform with the laws. Since we started this operation, we have arrested some 44 persons for breaching the Main Road Act as well as being suspects of extorting PPV operators. These matters are before the court. We also note that we have had uh, several convictions and persons have been fined um, for the offenses of operating uh, whilst breaching the Main Road Act. We are continuing our operations throughout the end of this year and we aim to continue into the next year. Whilst our operations have been expansive within the corporate area, we note that there are other areas that we need to have these operations and so we are sending out a warning to persons who are extorting the operators that we will be ensuring that these practices are reduced significantly if not eliminated we have to ensure that our public sector operate within the confines of the law we note that public passenger vehicle operators that they have made complaints against this problem. We have a problem with getting statements from them. However, we are ensuring that we do what we can within the ambit of the law to stamp out this problem. So we will continue these operations as well as trying to conduct other operations to ensure that road safety pervades. Thanks for watching. This was a My View TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. 
tell a friend for tell a friend and remember him never bring nobody forward for cheer for him walk good